Hi guys, so the first song I'm gonna show today is That's Another Conversation by Soft Punk Slime. I just got this slime in the mail today, and so far I'm literally obsessed with it. It's right up my alley. I love the texture. So on first impressions, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. So the next slime is by Momo Slimes and it is Reputation. This slime I think is so cool looking. I love the concept. Um, and it's really good ASMR sounds with the rocks. I'm going to rate this slime a 9.5 out of 10. So the next slime is also by Momo Slimes and it is Lavender Haze. I love this cute little charm it comes with. This slime um, is a cloud slime and I do really really love it. It's a great slime. There was one other cloud slime I liked a bit better than this so I'm going to give this one a 9.5 out of 10 as well. It smells really refreshing. The last slime I have from Momo Slimes is the Matcha Slime Choco Balls. I love this slime so much. So much. And this smell, it smells just like how you'd imagine a snack would smell like. Um, I, 10 out of 10, absolutely love it. Okay, I'm gonna start with my slime obsidian slimes. This is Blood Curse, and I know a lot of people say how it's really sticky, but it was sticky when I first got it, but once I had enough activator and I kind of played around with it, figured out how to play with it, I have a random cloud charm and I put in, I don't know why. Um, I love this slime, so I give it a 10 out of 10. Slime Obsidian was the first company I ever got slime from, so like a really soft spot in my heart. <laughs> so this is Storm Clouds by Slime and Obsidian. This was my first slime. I ordered another one of it because I loved it so much. Um, for some reason, this one when it came in, it wasn't as cloud textured and drizzly as the first one. I tried to let it sit for a few days, try to fluff it up. It's still really nice, really great slime, and I love the smell of it. I ordered another cloud slime with this at the same time that I'll show you a bit later. But yeah, they just have a little bit of a problem where it's not as fluffy. I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10. So next is a Tana Glimmer. This is a bean soup bead slime, I believe that's how it's pronounced. And this I think was my first slime this texture I played with. I do really love it. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Next is Stingray Cloud. I ordered this at the same time as the second Storm Cloud I got. So yeah, it's just uh, having the same same issue as the second Storm Cloud I got, where it's still amazing, but it's not as 
fluffy, drizzling, cloud-like as my original storm clouds. Um, I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10. So next is Yoshi Cubes. This was my first cube slime. I believe it was a cube jelly. Obviously this is after all the cubes were popped. I love this so much. I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. So next is Lavender Haze. This was my first icy slime that I've ever played with and bought. Um, I do really like it. It's not my absolute favorite, it might just be a texture, personal preference. I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. This next one was a mystery slime I ordered from Slime Obsidian. It came in the same time as Lavender Haze. As you can see from the shrinkage, I played with this one a lot. Um, I played with it probably for like um, hours straight some days. So I really, really liked it, which was weird to me because it's similar texture to Lavender Haze. And I'm, I'm like not the biggest fan of Icy, I don't think. Um, the smell is a little little too much for me, but I'm still giving it a 10 out of 10. Love it. Okay, so this was actually Squirtle Fizz by Slime Obsidian, and I was very stupid and didn't read the instructions right, and I added just straight half a tablespoon to the slime when it was sticky instead of mixing the water. So, tried my best to revive it and this is it turned into this concoction. Rest in peace, Squirtle Fizz. We love and miss you. Those were all my slime obsidian slimes. Now on to Corina slime. This is Dreamy Nights. Um, for some reason, I assumed it was a cloud slime from the video, but it's a cloud dough. Again, me being stupid and not reading things, but um, so it's not really the slime's fault. I just, I just know I'm not really into that kind of texture too much. But it's been growing on me, so I give it a 8 out of 10. So next is Corn with Slime's Black Pink Slime. This is my second Beanzo bead slime. I really like the color of it. It's really, really cool looking. Um, for some reason, I just I just reached for my Zetana Glimmer by Slime Obsidian over this. I think I just like their formula better and it's probably just personal preference. I'm going to give this one a 7.5 out of 10. So on to Peachy Baby Slimes. This was Lavender Crush. I actually added some of Momo Slime's reputation and the Cornwall Slime black pink into it because I like how the green kind of popped. This is me awkwardly showing you guys what I added to it. Um, this was a jelly cube slime, so obviously all the cubes are popped too. 
I love this slime so much. I play with it all the time. 10 out of 10. So this is my last slime, it is Peachy Baby's Kitty Ice Pop. I wasn't going to get this one because I don't think I'm the biggest fan of Icy's, but it's so cool how different textures feel slightly different from different companies. I got it because it was just so cute. Um, this one feels so much more like wetter and like really moldier, like it really moves more freely. Um, I actually really like this one. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for watching. 